Getting the very best domain names for our websites is extremely important. It can give you that unfair advantage, that little edge that all the competitors don't have. So if you can get just 5-10% to more people to click your website when they see it in the search results, you have a very nice advantage over all your competitors. Not only will it get more people to your website, but it's also a ranking factor. So if people click on your domain more often than the next website in the search result page, it actually improves your Google rankings. So when you think about it, you get more clicks, plus you get better rankings. That's just crazy important. We need to make absolutely sure that that domain name says it all. It needs to show the user exactly what they're gonna get, and it needs to look super trustworthy. Stay with me to the very end of this video because I got a special tip for you that might save you a lot of headache and trouble. People often pay thousands of dollars for good domain names, but you don't have to do that. There are many problems with that outside the obvious that it takes away the money that you need to build the website, right? I'll show you the two tools that I consistently go to when I'm researching good domain names. I've tested a ton of tools over the years, but I'll save you the trouble from going over them one by one. I'll just show you the two ones that always reveals the best results for me. So let's get started. The first tool we will look at is called Lean Domain Search. It will let you enter one word and then it will come up with a ton of ideas for you that are not taken as the .com domain. And we always want a nice solid .com domain. Why? Because people trust them more. So let's go over to my screen and I'll show you exactly how to use this tool. So let's say you're building a website around tennis. You simply start by putting that keyword in here, hit search, and now you will see a ton of domain name ideas that aren't taken. By default, the sorting will be popularity and it will be a mix of having the seed word in the front or in the back of the domain name. You can change that over here and you can also sort them by length. By doing that you will see the shorter domain names at the top. Here you can see they added three letter words and after a while it will be four letters, five letters and so on. And you can also change the sorting to be alphabetical. This is really cool because that enables us to sort out all the words that starts with an A or an B, of course. Let me show you why that's important. I prefer domain names where that extra word in the domain is either a J or a P or an F or something like that. The reason why I want to do that is because if you look at the line of the letters here, T-E-N-N-I-S, None of these letters stand out from the horizontal line. But see, as soon as I enter a P, you will sort of break that horizontal baseline of the domain name and it'll just be easier to read it. So let's say we chose the word tennis partner. It's just easier to read because that P goes below the horizontal line instead of a word like tennis master. Both these ideas are of course excellent ideas, but I would always go for something like like this, simply because I want to break that line. Another letter that does this is the letter G. It also extends below the horizontal line. So let's say you wanted a name like Tennis Geek. I would always go for that over something that doesn't break that line. It just makes it easier to read. Remember, when the domain shows up in the search result page, you're not able to bold a letter or make it bigger or something like that. When you do the logo, you might do something like this. But obviously people will not see this when they stumble over your domain in Google. We need to make sure that people stop skimming when they reach your domain because it's simply such a good domain name that they have to click it. It just adds a lot of authority and trust to your domain. And people will naturally think that you have something good on your website if the name is just excellent. So if we go back to have tennis as the first word, we sort it by popularity. We already have pretty good ideas here like tennis study. So just from spending like 5 to 10 minutes with this tool right now, I found these words. Tennis Groove, Tennis Peak, Tennis Study, Tennis Gadget, Tennis Details. They will probably give you much more clicks from Google than if your site is called something like tennisreviewsite.com or mybesttennistips.com. So try to keep it short, keep it right on point and make sure that everybody instantly knows what the website is about. The next tool I want to show you looks like something from the 90s. The website design is awful, but it's a great and really powerful tool. I've used it to find many of my best domain names. 
The tool is called Bust a Name and it works quite differently from the other tool we looked at. It will let you combine two lists of words and show you which ones are available as .com domains. And there's also another really cool feature that I'll show you. Let's get back to my computer and I'll show you exactly how to use this one too. As I told you, it's not because of the design of the website that this is a killer tool, but the functionality inside this tool is really powerful. Let me show you how to use it. First, you need to start in this box here by typing a small list of words. Let's try again with tennis. And now I'll add some tennis related words like chord, backspin, backswing. Now what this tool will do by default is to combine all these words and see if there's any combination of these words that are available. So already now we got some ideas. Tennis backspin is available and so on. And again, you can sort these domains alphabetical or by quality, like how easy are they to read, syllables and length. I prefer to sort them by length because I always try to go for super nice short domain names. But if you ask me, none of these domain names here are what we want to go with for a tennis site. So what we can do now is to add a group here and another group and I'll drag all these words here down to the first group. Let me just do that. And now the tool will not mix words from the same group. So let's say we want to combine one of these words with a word from this group. Now I'll populate this group with some other words. Let's take some words that are typically good for domains, something like winner, champ, geek, insider, beat, spot, place, life. These are just some words that typically look good in domain names. Now I've added a long list of words here that you could combine with the first list of words. So remember, it will mix the words from group one and group two. Now we got some better ideas like courtgeek.com, court hype, geek tennis, tennishype.com. I like that because the H actually extends above the line. Remember we talked about breaking that horizontal line because it stops the eye when you start scanning the search result page. Court winner, backspin live. What did that take like two minutes? And something else you can do here. You can mouse over on every word out here. And then you'll get some additional ideas that you might add. So let's see what it comes up with. There was nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let's continue down to group number two. Okay, so winner, it could be master, champion, victor, good names. Ruler, chief, commander, overlord, <laughs> tennis overlord, oh my gosh. Tennis captain, tennis owner. Tennis Boost, hmm, good work. This is one way to use this domain checker. And if you want to go for .net or .org or .info, you can obviously click those off here. And you can also choose to combine two or three words. I always go for two word combinations whenever that's possible. Another cool feature is to add a prefix. You can do that here. So it will try all the existing possibilities with an I in the beginning or an E or my, and you can also add your own if you want to do that. And you can also add something to the end. You know, sometimes people like words like tennisly, tennister, tennislet, stuff like that. And again, you can add your own list here. You can also click over here if you want to allow hyphens. I advise you to never do that. It's just typically a bit frowned upon, at least in the marketing community, to do domain names like tennis, hyphen, geek, stuff like that. It doesn't look as nice as having the words together. You can also click here to get plural forms, uh, or you can drop the last vowel to get like flicker to be flicker without the E at the end. Oh, and you have to untick this one because we don't want to list a ton of domains that are just up for sale. We want to see domain names that you can actually grab for free. So this is the main way to use this tool. But there's another really cool feature hidden up here. If you go up here and click tab number two, you find what they call the domain maker. And here you can start with one word, let's say tennis and click go. Now you can choose to start or end the domain ideas with this word and click go to update here. 
So what we want is to set this to very natural, otherwise you will get like just a ton of crazy ideas. And then you can limit the domain length. Now let's try to put tennis as the first word and see what comes up here. Sometimes you will find amazing results here. I always try to start out super short to see if anything comes up. Okay, we still got a lot. Let's try eight characters. Let's try seven. Okay, so that was too short. Everything with tennis and one letter to the word at the end is taken. So let's try with eight letters. Tennis MS, Tennis TO. Okay, I don't like any of these. Let's try with nine. So this is really cool when you're looking for a super short domain. You might not find as much gold here, but sometimes you find just the right idea. And again, of course, you can tick .net, .org and so on. And another pretty cool feature that I forgot to tell you about is hidden here at the first tab. Over here, you can always try any idea that just pops into your mind as you start looking over these ideas. Let's say you want to check if tennisstuff.com is taken. It's just really sweet because then you don't have to shift between two different windows just to check your ideas as they pop into your brain. Okay, so I promised you this tip in the end that can save you a lot of trouble and a lot of headache. And believe me, it can. You need to always go check archive.org, see the link here, before you register any domain. That will show you the history of this domain. If it hasn't been registered before, you will see nothing. And that's awesome. That's what we want. But in case somebody owned this domain before, we want to know exactly what they did with the domain before you start building a business on it. Maybe somebody spammed the crap out of this domain and there's a reason why it's available. In case Google hate it, we want to know that. So how do you check that? Let me show you on the computer one more time. This is what the website looks like. And as you can see, they are also not winning because of the great design they have. Let's try and type in tennispeak.com. That was one of the ideas we got before. So now it returns this message that, hmm, they don't have anything archived about this. So you're good to go. Nobody ever used this domain. Let's try something else. Let's type in tennislife.com. Now you can see that somebody had this website up in 1999 all the way to 2018. And if you go to it right now, nothing is happening. So, you know, this domain might be up for grabs. I didn't check. But if you wanted to buy this domain, you wanted to know what happened on this website. You can click anywhere here on this timeline and click anywhere with this blue circle around it. And then you'll actually see a snapshot of what the website looked like. So it seems like this was some sort of tennis site. You can browse around here and see what was going on. And you might also check the backlinks to this website because you know, if somebody was trying to rank this too fast or maybe somebody got slammed with a Google penalty, you will typically be able to see a ton of spammy pages linking to this domain. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just stay away from websites with a history and just find a brand new domain. And let me just repeat that you always want a .com domain. Don't choose a .org or .net or whatever. Just keep looking until you find a solid .com domain. I put out a ton of these videos with tips like this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. See you next time.